So, yeah, this is a large task. And we're going around the whole entire bed. There's my little doggy Kona. Hi, baby. <laughs> he just loves watching us out here. Yeah, I've done a few other things since I was on last. I transplanted some Black Eyed Susans over by the little birdhouse and the blueberries. My husband started laying down some paver sand so this will fill in so I won't be tripping. Over here, I added some more plants. Right here, I have a penstemon. Right there. Aster. I planted some... Um, ah, bee balm. And some lobelia right there. Little struggles going on with my nine bark. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna um, put some compost material around. It doesn't look too happy. Right here I planted another cardinal flower. That one's gonna be um, pink with a dark mauvey green type of leaf. We're going to clean all this up in here. I'm going to plant a hibiscus in this bed. Everything's doing good here. I have a rose that obviously I didn't get all the roots to. It's creeping back up. As is the crepe myrtle. you got to keep them at bay. And then this is my Smiley butterfly bush that bloomed, so I'm happy. And then over here, I got a bunch of bulbs coming in. I'm gonna plant up. I'm sticking with the orange theme. And then yesterday, I picked up some of these pretty cone flowers. They didn't have a name on them, but oh my gosh, look at those. They're just beautiful. So I'm going to plant them up in here somewhere. I was thinking maybe one there and one here. And then this. This beauty is a chase tree. And it almost looks like a butterfly bush but it's not, it's very fragrant. It grows about 10 feet by 10. So hopefully I won't have to move it anytime soon. I planted some alliums in here and I'm keeping this bed purple, orange or peach. And I think I might put some whites in here to complement the variegated leaf here. I put white astilbe. I'm super, super excited to see what they do. So I have one here and one here. That's exciting. And then over here, so I kind of wanted formal non-messy as you walk up to the house. So I'm going with boxwoods and then some hydrangeas. These are the um, Let's Dance Can Do. And they have a pretty color. I really like that. So this is gonna be my pink bed, so to speak. I'm gonna get some more still be and plant them in in the middle here, kind of like a 
triangle-ish effect. And I'm not going to ever put annuals in here. This is just, like I said, more of a formal spot. And then around the corner, I'm not quite sure. I think I was going to get rid of that bush and that fern and plant a still be here. So it's a little more cohesive to the bed over there. And then over here, we've had some water work being done, but you can see my side yard. That's gonna be a project of its own. I'm gonna plant ground cover or something back there. And then over here, I'm limited because my husband wants to use that corner for the driveway expansion. So I have this woodland area back here to put some interest in. So that's gonna be a project later on. I'm gonna end up taking some of these out and I think I'm gonna put more steel because they do look good in a a grouping rather than single like I put up there. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do here. Um, this is St. John's wort. I don't know if I have it in the right location, but it didn't die and it's been in all season. So hopefully that'll take root. These are, these little grassy looking things are the gay feather or the Leatris, I think it's called. I had only one bloom. Again, this is first year planted from bulbs, so not too bad, not too bad. And then these right here, Agasashi, I think they're gonna get bigger. So what I might do is spread them out and plant maybe coneflower in between them. I'm still thinking about it, but yeah. As time goes on, we'll figure it out. There's some activity with the bumblebees. They're so cute. They're just loving those. So that's why I decided to keep the purple in this bed. Also, this is um, homemade. I watched a video on how to make a bird food cake and the birdies are loving it. So this one's kind of dying back now. Like I said in previous video, this is going to be more my monarch site. Right now I have some dahlias that are blooming and oh my goodness, they're so cute. I just got a bag of dahlias at I don't know, Lowe's or something. But look at that flower. Isn't that just adorable? It's just this little cute pom-pom. And then over here are these. Ugh, I don't know what these are. But I'm loving the leaf color. It's the darker leaf. And look at that. Ugh. And then one more. Which is so seasonal. Up for autumn. So definitely going to be plucking these up. My zinnias are dying back. I'm waiting for them to die off so I can collect some seed. Salvia is going to be dying. That's an annual. And then my Joe Pie weed struggled. So hopefully I can plant that up somewhere and it'll thrive. Most likely over here I'll put it. I think I have another Joe Pie in there. I just can't remember right now. And then my Cosmos. I'm wanting to go to see too because they're just beautiful. Look at the center on that. 
the bees are buzzing nearby. And this one has a pretty pink edging. Ah, they're just so pretty. There's a little bumblebee. Hmm. Not a fan of this color, but it's attracting the pollinators, so I'm keeping it in till it dies back, but I'm not gonna replant it. My dill is forming up seed, which I'm gonna go ahead and collect. I want lots of dill. I wanna make this sort of not only a monarch resting place, but a also any other type of butterfly because I had lots of giant swallowtails. I have spice bushes in the back, which I already had spice bush swallowtails on those. So yeah, I'm going to put more dill in here and some other host plants maybe so that this will be a, a cool interest in the summertime. Hi, Kona. Hi, Pee Over here, my Lysianthus are dying back. I didn't stake them, but oh, look at those. So I'm gonna try collecting seed from these guys as well and see if I can grow them on for next year. So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna sweep this paver stone into the, the rock a little more. We need a couple more bags, but I think um, it's coming along. I'm, I'm really happy about it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.